Imagine waking up one day to find your home, the place you've known all your life, slowly being swallowed by the sea. It's a grim picture, isn't it? Yet, this is the reality for countless coastal communities worldwide due to climate change. Let's embark on a journey to several coastal communities across the globe, each grappling with the impacts of climate change in unique ways. It's a story of resilience, innovation, and adaptation. First, we travel to the low-lying islands of the Maldives, a nation threatened by rising sea levels. Here, the strategy is one of mitigation and adaptation. The Maldivian government is investing in the construction of artificial islands, elevated from the sea level, providing a sanctuary for its citizens. They're also fortifying existing islands with seawalls and reviving coral reefs to act as natural barriers against the encroaching sea. Next, we turn to the Netherlands, a country with a long history of water management, more than a quarter of the countries below sea level, and yet the Dutch have thrived. Their strategy? Embrace the water. The Dutch have created a system of dikes, seawalls, and storm surge barriers. They've also designed floating houses and even floating dairy farms. The idea is to live with water, not fight against it. Now let's shift our gaze to Bangladesh, one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change. Here the strategy is one of resilience and community-based adaptation. The locals have embraced climate-resilient crops and floating gardens, known as Baira. They've also constructed cyclone shelters and raised plinths to protect homes during floods. Finally, we visit the city of Miami in the United States. Facing rising sea levels and frequent flooding, Miami has taken a multi-pronged approach. The city is investing in elevated infrastructure, improving drainage systems, and even considering zoning changes to move people away from the most vulnerable areas. Now let's summarize. In the face of climate change, coastal communities worldwide are employing a range of strategies. The Maldives is creating artificial islands and reviving coral reefs. The Netherlands is embracing water with innovative infrastructure. Bangladesh is enhancing community resilience with climate resilient crops and cyclone shelters. And Miami is elevating infrastructure and improving drainage systems. What these case studies show is that there's no one size fits all solution. Each community, each country must adapt based on its specific circumstances and resources. But one thing is clear, action is necessary. The sea won't wait and neither can we. In the end, it's not just about saving our homes or our lands. It's about preserving our way of life, our cultures and our communities. It's about ensuring that future generations can enjoy the same coastal beauty that we have. So as we continue to grapple with the impacts of climate change, remember these stories of resilience and adaptation. They serve as a reminder of what's at stake and what we can achieve when we face challenges head on.